Hello, boys and girls. We're at the racetrack, ready to compare some numbers. Let's see which cars participate in the race today and which numbers we are going to compare. You already know about place value and can compare numbers using base 10 blocks. Now, I'll help you find numbers that are greater than or less than other numbers. On your mark, get set, go! Do you like that racing helmet? See the number? It's number 25. We can look at the digit in the tens place first to help compare numbers. How many tens does my number have? 25 has two tens. It also has five ones. Nice job. There's one of the race cars now. What number is it? Is 31 greater or less than 25? Both 25 and 31 have numbers in the tens place. See? We see that 3 is greater than 2. That means that 31 is greater than 25. We put up the greater than sign with the small pointed side facing the smaller number. So the sign would look like this. Whoa, look! There's another car with a new number. Is that number greater than 25? Well, first we can look at the largest place, which are the numbers on the far left. They are the same. They're both two. That's okay. If the tens place is the same, then we can just compare the ones place. See? We can compare using place value. I can hear some cars getting ready to race. Let's compare their numbers. Do you remember where we start when we compare? They both have fours and fives in their number. But the one with the five in the tens place has a greater value. That's why we should always start at the left with the largest place. 54 is greater than 45. That also means that 45 is less than 54. Do you see another number that is less than 54? Yes, 25 is less than 54. It's less than 45 too. Because number 25 only has a two in the tens place. There are two more cars. Are the numbers greater than or less than 25? It looks like they both have bigger numbers in the tens place, so they are both greater than 25. Remember, look left and compare the tens place first. On your mark, get set, go! Thanks for watching, boys and girls. See you next time. Hello boys and girls, it's Teacher Mike here, and today we're going to be looking at a worksheet that asks us to compare numbers. Before we get started, let's remind ourselves of some really important things to know in place value. First, which base 10 block do you see? This is a cube. Do you know the value of the cube? Cube is worth just one. How about a long? Do you know how much the long is worth? Well, the long is made up of 10 individual cubes, so therefore the long is worth 10. Let's use this information to help us to compare numbers with base 10 blocks. Let's say for example we had a number with two longs and two cubes. We wanted to compare this to a number with one long and three cubes. Well, what do these blocks really represent? One way we can see what this number is quickly is by simply counting the base 10 blocks starting with the longs. So let's give it a shot. In this number, we have one long and that's representing 10, and another long and that represents 10. So we can count by 10 two times. Let's give it a shot. 10, 20. Now we know we have 20, and we can just count on with our other two cubes, which represent ones, 20, 
21, 22. So I know that these base 10 blocks represent the number 22. Well, how about the number on the right side? This side, I see 110. Already, I'm starting to think, hmm, if there's only 110 in this number, it's probably smaller or less than 22. But let's count all the base 10 blocks just to be sure. After 10, we can just count on with our three cubes, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we know that 22 is greater than 13. So we'll draw the comparison symbol with the mouth open towards the bigger number because you will always eat the bigger number. Let's get started with our worksheet. Let's read the directions and start with the first problem. Comparing numbers, base 10 blocks. Count tens and ones in each pair and compare the numbers. Check the pairs where the signs of comparison are correct. Okay, we have a nice little reminder up top reminding us about the longs are worth 10 and the cubes are worth one. So let's get started by counting the base 10 blocks. Remember, we can count by tens if we see a long. So let's look at our first picture. How many longs are there? Well, I see one, two, three, four longs. I know that's worth 40. Now let's see how many cubes we have. There's one, two, three, four, five cubes. So let's count on from 40, five more. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Our first number has 45. Let's compare it to the number on the right. We can first start by counting how many longs there are. Well, in this number, we can see that there's one, two, three, four, five longs. Hmm. Do you think this number with five longs or five tens is going to be greater or less than 45? How much is five tens really worth? Well, let's just count the tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So already that's greater than 45. Let's count the cubes just so we can get a final count. 51, 52, 53, 54. So 54 is greater than 45. Let's see if the comparison symbol is facing the right way. It is. The symbol is eating the 54, so we know that this is correct. We can go ahead and check the box. Let's take a look at our next example. In this problem, on the number on the left, we have two tens. We know that equals 20. Let's see how many ones we have. Let's count from 20. We have 21, 22, 23, and 24. 25, 26, 27, 28. There are 28 base 10 blocks in the number on the left. Let's compare that to number on the right. The number on the right has one, two, three, four longs. I'm already starting to think the number on the right is going to be bigger because it has more longs. Remember, the longs are worth 10 each, and this one has four tens. That's 10, 20, 30, 40. So already this has 40 cubes. We, didn't have any, we haven't even counted on the two cubes yet, which gives us 41 and 42. So this number is definitely greater than 28. Now, let's check which way the comparison symbol is facing. In this example, the comparison symbol shows that the 28 is greater. So this is not true. We cannot check this is correct. Let's take a look at our next example. Wow, there's a lot of longs in this one. Let's see if we can figure out which number is larger by just counting the longs. So let's count the longs in the first number. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's count the longs in the other number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So they both have eight tens, which means they're both equal to 80. But the number on the left also has one, two, three, four, five cubes, making it 85, 81, 82, 83, 84, and 85. So the number on the left, 85, is larger. But the comparison symbol shows that 80 is larger. 
and that's not correct. So we can't check this one as correct either. Now let's look at the last problem. Again, let's count the base 10 blocks and see how many there are in each problem. Let's start with the logs on the left. There's one, two, three, four, which means there's 40. Let's count the logs on the right. There's 10, 20, 30, and 40. Also four logs. Hmm. So if they both have four logs, let's count the cubes. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have 40 plus seven, 41, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. 47 on the left. Now let's count the cubes on the right. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, and 47. There are also 47 cubes on the right. These numbers are equal to each other. And we can see from the comparison symbol, it's got it correct. These numbers are equal. So we can go ahead and check that as correct. Remember, boys and girls, the longs are worth 10. So you can count by tens to help you compare numbers easier. Then look and see if the other number has a greater or less than number of tens. If they're the same, go ahead and count the ones or the cubes to see which number is greater in the end. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. We'll see you next time. All right, welcome back. It's nice to see you again. What we're gonna do today is we are going to be comparing numbers and we've got a Thanksgiving themed worksheet. This is gonna be lots of fun. The directions say, help the turkey find the way out. Draw a line to connect all the numbers that are less than 57. Less than 57. Okay, so let's think about this. Let's come over here to the side and let's draw out a number line, okay? And in the middle of my lumber, number line, I'm gonna put 57 like this, okay? What would be a number that would be the next number up from 57 that would be greater than 57? What would that be? That would be 57, 58, 59, Okay, 60, those would all be examples of numbers that are greater than, right? But we're looking for numbers that are less than. So we need any number below 57, like for example, 56, 55, 54, 53, and all the way down to zero, right? And all the numbers that are in between that. So we're looking for all the numbers on this side of the number line that are less than 57, okay? So let's think for a minute about where we're gonna go. Let's start at the turkey, okay? And he's trying to find his way out. So let's come on out, okay? And let's see which direction to go. Now, do we go to the 18 or the 77? Is 77 less than 57? No, it's greater than 57, it's bigger than 57. So let's look at this one. What about 18, is that less than 57? Yeah, so we're gonna go down to this one right here. It would be, 18 would be on this side of the number line, okay? So let's go on down and let's look. The next one, we next direction we can go is either 99 or 21. Which one is less than 57? 99, nope, that's too big. 21, yep, that's smaller than 57. So we're gonna go around this way. Okay, that's less than 57. Now we can either go to 58 or to three, which one is less than 57? Don't get confused here. Three is less than 57. 58 is on this side of the number line. You remember, we don't wanna go that way. So we're gonna go up to three, okay? And then we're gonna come through here and right through here. And then we've got a couple of choices. We can either go to 60 or 56, which one is going to be less than 57? 56 is less than 57. It's even on our number line that we drew. 60 is more than or greater than, so we're gonna go to 56, okay? And then let's keep going around here. We can either go to 10 or 67. So 10 is less than, so we're gonna go this way. And then we're gonna keep going around. You're doing so good. And then we've got two more choices. We've got 
57 or 31. Now this one's a little bit tricky. I didn't talk about this. We're looking for numbers that are less than 57. Is 57 less than 57? No, it's actually equals to. That means the same as. So that's not where we need to go. We need to go less than this way. So our other choice here is 31. 31 would be on this side of the number line. So we're gonna go to 30. One. And look at that. We made our way out. We got our turkey out of our maze, didn't we? Great job today. Bye bye. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.